William Felton Russell, more commonly known as Bill Russell, is one of the most iconic legends of NBA history. He's widely recognized as the game's ultimate winner, as he has more championship rings than any other player of league history with a total of 11. Despite having more rings than fingers, Russell has significantly less hardware than he actually deserves, since he played in the NBA at a time when many accolades and awards had not yet been invented. Honors like the NBA's All-Defensive Teams, the Defensive Player of the Year Award, and the Finals MVP did not exist throughout the vast majority of Bill Russell's career. He already has a dominant resume worthy of putting himself in the GO argument, but his incredible body of work only becomes tremendously more impressive once you consider the additional awards he likely would have accumulated if they had always been available. Today, we're taking a look at Russell's career and considering its magnificence when the additional accolades are applied to his legacy. First off, let's start by considering Russell's impact and reputation as a defensive player. Bill is respected and remembered for his elite rebounding, his clutch gene, and for his team-first approach. But above all else, Russell is revered for his tenacious and dominating presence on the defensive end, as many of his peers, fans, and basketball enthusiasts in general consider him as the greatest defensive player of NBA history. Unfortunately, the Defensive Player of the Year award did not exist until 1982, and blocks and steals were not an officially tracked stat until 1973, which means there is a lot of details that we don't know about his career defensively. But with that being said, there is a decent amount that we do know about what he achieved defensively. Bill played a total of 13 seasons in the NBA, and during that stretch, he led the NBA in defensive win shares in 11 out of those 13 seasons, in some instances even doubling the amount of defensive win shares as the closest competitor. At one point, he led the league in defensive win shares for an entire decade straight. Remember, this was in the same era when Wilt Chamberlain was also playing his prime basketball, and Russell still had a stranglehold on the league defensively. Wilt finished ahead of Bill in defensive win shares in only one season of his career, and more often than not, it wasn't even close in Russell's favor. Not only that, but his defensive presence in the paint was showing up in the results for his team as well, as Russell's Celtics finished as the NBA's number one ranked defense in 12 out of his 13 seasons in the league. His defensive impact was so strong that his Celtics were able to win the NBA championship on three occasions while simultaneously being the worst team in the league offensively, which they did in 1961, 1963, and 1964. No other team in league history has ever done that. The Celtics also had the best overall record in the entire NBA in 9 out of his 13 seasons. Remember, Bill Russell won five league MVP awards, which is the second most in NBA history, and he won those awards mostly as an acknowledgement of his supreme defense, despite being relatively limited offensively. So it's fair to ask, how many accolades do you think he would have got if they were exclusively about his defense? To put it simply, Russell would have absolutely dominated the Defensive Player of the Year award like no one else has in all of history. He played less than 69 games in only one of his 13 seasons, which means he was almost always eligible for the awards. Based on what we know, on the low end, he's winning as few as 8 Defensive Player of the Year awards, and on the high end, he's winning as many as 11. Either way, he's easily the all-time leader and Defensive Player of the Year's one, as the current record holder is a total of 4 shared by Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace. Even on the low end, Bill would have at least double the amount of DPOYs compared to the closest defender of league history. He's also likely earning a first-team all-defensive spot in anywhere from 9 to 12 seasons of his career. Regardless of whether it's 9, 10, 11, or 12 selections, it's the most in NBA history. If this was all the case, I honestly believe that Bill Russell would stand out more defensively than Michael Jordan or Wilt Chamberlain do offensively, as there would be absolutely no argument about who the greatest defender to ever live was, and it would be laughable to even suggest otherwise. It's important to note that during Bill Russell's era, the awards were actually voted and decided by the players themselves and not by members of the media like it is today. This means that Russell's dominance defensively wasn't only the perception, but it was also the first-hand on-the-court experience of both his teammates and his opponents, which carries even more weight in my humble opinion. 
One common perception among players and fans of that generation is that Wilt Chamberlain wasn't always giving 100% effort and energy defensively, and would sometimes visibly take nights off when he wasn't feeling as motivated. This was never something that was a concern for Russell. On the contrary, Russell was known to be absolutely obsessive about competing, as he would sometimes build an anxious anticipation in the pregame to the point of vomiting. Russell's all-consuming desire to win undeniably resulted in him giving the most effort possible on the court defensively on a night-to-night -night basis. Another crucial award that did not exist throughout Bill Russell's career was the Finals MVP, which is a pretty unfortunate detail for a guy who won 11 championship rings. Michael Jordan certainly has an argument, but Bill Russell may just be the ultimate clutch performer, as he has a perfect 10-0 record in deciding 7th games in the postseason and he was ridiculously productive in those do-or-die games. The NBA Finals as a whole were not much different, as Russell had a knack for performing his best when games mattered most. I've researched all of his performances in the NBA Finals, and I definitely think he's winning the award in these finals, and he's possibly winning the award in these finals. Which means that on the low end, he's winning as few as 7 finals MVPs, and on the high end, he's winning as many as 10 finals MVPs. Either way, it's the most in NBA history. Now that we've analyzed and broke down all of these factors, let's take a look at Russell's complete resume as it should be. With all of this hardware added to his resume, what do you think it does for his legacy and for his ranking on the NBA's all-time list? I'll just say simply that it would clearly do a lot. Let me know in the comments section if some of these details affect the way you view Bill Russell on the NBA's all-time list. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.